Hey there, Abiding Fam, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kelsey Lee, and today we have a long-awaited video. I know many of you have been waiting for a Faith Journal Warbinder update, and at last, thanks to my patrons, we are making it happen this month. So grab a cup of your favorite tea and settle in for part one. Although I do many things here on my channel, the heart of it is rooted in God. John 15, 4 says, Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. The very concept of abiding, abiding in joy, faith, love, art, words, memories, passions, health, beauty, friendship, and of course, creativity, begins with abiding in Jesus. And so when I first began my faith journey over three years ago, I found myself searching for a way to abide in him more. And that's when I discovered the concept of a war binder or faith journal. Now I had no idea at the time of making my first war binder video and exploring faith and just trying to share in that with other women that I would create a video that would end up having nearly 100,000 views. And so before I continue, let me just say thank you to all of you who found me originally through that video. I never believed that sharing this little piece of my faith would have such an impact on other women, and it's been an absolute joy to see God working through that video and helping others to see how using creativity and art can be a way of connecting with him. So as a quick flip through of where we were, I just wanted to share with you guys a brief overview of my old Warbinder, and if you do want to see this more in depth, you can of course check out that older video, though you must be warned, it is older and thus it is not up to my standards today in terms of video quality. Now while this journal served me extremely well in the beginning stages of my faith, helping me to learn scripture and just abide in his word, I can't tell you how much it helped to just have a place to go to write down scriptures or notes from sermons I was listening to online. It was such a blessing to have that and I'm really excited to start a new journal that hopefully will rekindle my love of journaling my faith and get me back into the habit. So without further ado, let's discuss my new journal from Travelers and More. This journal was sent to me for my honest review from Traveler and More and I am obsessed with its packaging. It was so cute and I'm sorry I did not wait to open it on camera because I was just too excited but I did take some photos that you just saw there of how adorable the packaging was. But the best part is that the packaging wasn't the only thing of stellar quality. The journal itself is so impressive in its quality. It is a leather traveler's notebook in the standard size. It comes in this black color that I think has a really nice classic look. And it's also a really nice supple pliable leather. I just loved playing around with it in my hands and getting to use it. And like I said, it came with some really cute little inserts like that little thank you that you know I'll be using in later journaling and a nice little card. Now one of my favorite things about this journal was all of the inserts that it came with. So this is a great beginner journal for anyone who's just starting out or as a gift if you're not sure exactly what to get. Everything is included in this one already for you, and it's of top-notch quality. The binding is all stitched, it's not stapled, which is huge, and it also has these cute little pockets that you can put, you can use as a wallet, you can put your cards in there, or stickers, washi tape, whatever you need to take along with you when you are on the road journaling. And all of the notebooks come in different styles, so that first one was lined, and then the second one has a little date and then timeline for dailies. If you're doing more of a bullet journal, this is great for that. And then the other part of that 
plastic insert is this zippered pouch that you can stick more materials and tools in. And then this little pouch I'm really excited to turn into a letters to God envelope like I had in my previous faith journal. I think that'll be a really cute place for that and I'm excited to decorate it. And then the back we have two more journal inserts. Yes, there are four overall. I'm telling you guys, I cannot believe the quality of these notebooks and everything that comes in it. So that one is blank and then we have another little pocket that we can use to store more things and then at the back we have a really nice grid notebook and I must say the quality of the paper though I haven't actually used it yet to be able to compare markers etc which I will definitely do is top notch as well it just feels so smooth and I'd be shocked if all of my pens bleed through. And then the notebook itself has two bands inside of it and then the one that wraps around and has the little tag on it. I really had no expectations going into this journal, but I am just so ecstatic with not just the quality of the journal itself, but also the inserts that come with it. I'm so excited to use them and I'll definitely keep you all updated on the quality of the paper. But I just wanted to share it with you guys as a basic overview of what I'm planning on using for my faith journal. Thank you again to Traveler and More for sending this journal to me. I'm so excited to use it. And if you're interested in getting a Traveler's Notebook for Christmas or to give to someone, I definitely highly recommend this one, guys. I really was blown away by the quality. And you really can't beat the price either for a leather journal. So I will have it linked down below for you so you can go ahead and check it out for yourself. Now, originally I planned for this video to be me setting up the whole journal, but I quickly realized that that would result in a very, very long video. So instead, we're going to start with part one of my journal, which is going to be designing my sermon notes cover. I just did a little flip through of the sermon notes I've taken so far at church and I've just been loving doing this format where it's very simple. Obviously I'm in church so I can't be sitting there with watercolors and pens and all of my fun washi and supplies, but I can have a basic pen. And so the way that I make it fun for myself and to make it engaging when I look back at it is I play around a lot with fonts and doodles. And that's been a really great way for me to take sermon notes and I've been really enjoying it. And I've been taking them in this tiny little journal that I've been just throwing between the pages of my Bible and taking along with me. It's proved super useful and helpful to have it in that size. And even though obviously this isn't the full size of the Traveler's Notebook I'm going to be using, it will still fit in there just fine since it is smaller. And so I'm excited to use it for that. But I like to make things pretty. Abiding creativity is a major part of this channel. So I went ahead and covered it in some washi tape using my big botanical washi from wish.com. And then I'm creating a nice little white background using the Illustrated Faith acrylic paint. And this is just to provide a surface where I can place ephemera and such over it and have it pop a little bit more. And my camera died, so I, you missed me putting the ephemera on there, but I just added these two cute stickers from Illustrated Faith. And then I wanted to go in and add some colorful crosses. So I'm using the baby wipe and gelato technique where you just rub a Faber-Castell gelato onto your baby wipe and then that little bit of moisture is gonna help you spread it around and move around that pigment. And I love the look of this. It has a really pretty watercolor effect. And by doing it through the stencil, I can create it in the shapes that I want. In this case, I'm using little crosses. So I did that on both sides, and this stencil is actually the mat, the Bible mat from Illustrated Faith. And I got all of my Illustrated Faith supplies for the most part from the Advent Tech. Well, I can't say it. <laughs> Adventacular unboxing that I did on my channel quite some time ago, but I'm pretty sure that they still sell that in their Etsy shop. It's a really great gift set, so if you're looking for an Illustrated Faith Bible journaling 
Space Journaling gift set. Be sure to check out that video and you'll have a link to their Etsy shop as well where you can hopefully find it and buy it for yourself. Then I went in with some black pen just to make some crosses stand out a little bit more. And I went to these stickers that I had made forever ago. And these were originally going to be something I wanted to sell in my Etsy shop, but it ultimately didn't feel comfortable selling the stickers and felt like it might have been a little bit too much work. They weren't as high of quality as I wanted them to be in order to sell them, but they were good enough quality to use for myself. So I made some ones for my war binder at that time, and this one says sermons, so it's perfect to put on the little side of this notebook. Then I moved on to the back and brought in more of those Warbinder stickers that I had created. And I love the little honeycomb hive shapes. I think that octagon, what is that? A hexagon? It's not an octagon. How many sides are there? Six. <laughs> it's a hexagon. Oh boy, geometry. <laughs> so then I went in and added some stickers that I will quickly take off in a little bit, but we're not quite there yet. This sticker book is one of my favorites. It is the homemade sticker book from American Crafts and I love it oh so much. Now with the busy background, I didn't quite trust my handwriting to stand out so I decided to bring in some alpha stickers. And these alpha stickers you can't really tell on the camera but they actually have this really fun glitter shimmer effect to them which is neat because it adds some really great texture to the cover. And it took me a little while to get them in the place that I wanted them, but ultimately I achieved my goal and write out sermon. So I have that, and then on that little sticker at the bottom I write notes, so it says sermon notes. Now as you can see, as I promised, I did take off those stickers I put on the back. I just wanted something a little bit more standout-ish, I guess, there on the back, and so I was really struggling, honestly, with what to put in this space. Part of me wanted to write another piece of scripture and to just pick out a Bible verse, and part of me was worried that it wasn't going to stand out well enough on that background, and so I originally tried to write it out and then quickly realized that no, that's not going to work. So I put a sticker over, which is my number one go-to when I make a mistake, is just to put a sticker over it. So I did that, and then I wrote the verse I wanted, which is from Proverbs 4, and it is, Take firm hold of instruction, don't let her go, keep her, for she is your life. And I thought that was fitting for a sermon notes notebook and as you can see I once again tried to go for the handwriting and was not happy with it at all so I took another sticker <laughs> once again cover it up with a sticker when you make a mistake and all will be good so I did that and I was happier with it but I still wanted to write out proverbs but in this case it worked out better because I wasn't working with such a busy background but I didn't have to try so hard to make it stand out, which helped a lot. Then to make it go a little bit more with the front cover, I decided to add a few more of the little crosses just using my black Kokoro pen. That helped to just tie it all together, and with that, I was done. So I hope you enjoyed this video in getting to see how I created the cover of this insert for my sermon notes. I love the way it turned out, and I hope you enjoyed getting to join me as I created it. As I said, this is just part one of a new faith journal series because I frankly just could not possibly fit everything I wanted to do in one video. So I hope you enjoyed getting to see in this video my new Travelers and More journal that I'm going to be using as my faith journal and of course, setting up my first insert for the journal. There will be many more to come, so stay tuned. Of course, the best way to do that is to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so you get notifications. We are so close to 10K and I look forward to doing a big 
giveaway, so I hope you'll be there for it. Be sure to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Until then, stay abiding in creativity, love, and of course, Jesus. Thank you.